welcome back, this is Balaskobo with more Let's Play Sword of Mana. I am joined as always by Loki. Misa is also with us. Uh, we have been doing some level grinding together. We'll go over all that I've been doing in just a little bit. But first, I want to show off how high of a level I am. I'm up to level 67, put more points into Thief. Uh, now for the accessory, uh, I was not able to get the accessory at all. Uh, what I understood when I started was that I could still get an accessory for putting enough points into a job class for putting uh, the points that I was told was 40 points into Thief. Uh, however, I got the 40 points into Thief at about level 56 and I didn't get the accessory. From what I understand now, I just need to put purely 40 points into Thief and I couldn't have spent uh, points anywhere else. However, the brownie ring is by far superior to any sort of job accessory that you can get. So if you're going for the brownie ring, which I highly suggest, uh, you don't need to worry about that at all and you can go for classes like this. I am up to level 67. I've been working on my sword, my nux, and my flail. I've been pretty much ignoring the spirits because to be honest, I don't like how magic works in this game. Uh, so I have a ton of power, a ton of defense, and a ton of agility, and quite a bit of money, which I will pretty much spend off the bat. Now, I have purchased from Niccolo uh, 250 times. As a result, I have unlocked the special menu. How you have to do this is you purchase from him like so. You, it doesn't matter how many things you buy. If you buy from him on this screen, like one gumdrop, it counts as one. If I were to buy 99 gumdrops from him, it would still count as just one purchase. So you need to exit out. I am told that you can just exit out to this screen here, and then you can rebuy from him and it'll count as a second purchase. I was not willing to take that chance, so I exited all the way out every time so that it would count as a new purchase, just to be sure. I don't want to do something 250 times and figure out I was doing it wrong. But in this, uh, while we're here, I should go over these accessories. These are not very good accessories, even though they're ridiculously expensive. Uh, the Bell Bell and the Chimpfish Iris. Um, I, honestly, I've never used them. Um, Basically, they will double the amount of lucre that you get in battle, and they will double the amount of experience that you get in battle. Once again, for that kind of price, in this game, I just do not feel it is worth it. I don't feel that it is worth it. If we go to this new special menu, though, we can find materials. He actually sells materials, so I have gone ahead and purchased 10 of each of the highest level stuff that he has. He only sells woods and metals here. Uh, he does not sell anything else. So I've purchased 10 of the highest level that we can get here. In terms of the accessories that he sells, he sells a Cardinal Eye, which gives you 20 points to defense and mine, both uh, physical defense and magic defense. Uh, then you, you have plus 20 uh, to power and uh, to offense, so magic attack and regular physical attack, and a drop near, which gives you plus 15 to all stats. However, we have already acquired the brownie ring. You'll notice that these are all cheaper than the other accessories that he was selling, which we're going for 10,000. These are just four and eight. But once again, blown out of the water by the brownie ring, so I don't see really a point in me purchasing any of those. I'm not even going to bother giving it to me, so we are doing fine. Trust me. Now I do need to show off a little bit more of what I have been doing. Now we are here in the path to topple and you will notice that these rabbites are all black. That is something that I have unlocked through level grinding. If we look at Popoy's notebook here, you will see that I have killed a black amount of rabbites. Now that is pretty much short code for I have killed more than a thousand of them. Uh, luckily, I was able to, to do that. Well, let Misa take care of that while I did something else. Uh, once you hit a thousand, it will unlock it. It can be, be done for every single monster in the game, including the Cyclopses. Cyclopses, however I've been pronouncing that. It can be done for those should you level grind enough. I only wanted to do it for the Rabbites uh, because they are the, the, well, the basic enemy, the, the most 
under leveled enemy I guess you could say they are easy as hell when they level up to black you can see they get 500 more HP and a hundred points in every statistic increase so they are now one of the tougher enemies in the game it's still hard to say that the rabbites are the toughest enemy in the game i personally think that the cyclops uh were worse all of those that we fought but it does take quite a few hits now for me to take him down even with a death blow it's still stop hitting the tree loki stop hitting the tree now the purpose of doing this and there is a good reason to do this on top of just being completely ocd about it they drop chests, obviously, and they have some good items in there. You can get felt. Um, I'm not sure if that's something that the uh, regular rabbites dropped. Now, anywhere I see rabbites, they're always going to be black, by the way. It, it's not a random chance that they'll be black. They are always going to be black from now on. Um, they also can drop crystal which is the best material in the game and this is pretty much the only way in the game to farm crystal is to find a black enemy and kill it it's only a five percent drop though and we'll go over why that is insane pretty soon but for right now i need to take this back to wendell well anywhere really anywhere that there is a hot house i just uh, know that there's one very close to wendell so we're gonna go there and I can show off how good exactly these crystals are. It might take me a little bit of work, uh, but I am not necessarily making the best party possible by any means, not even close. I am overpowered enough as it is, especially with the brownie ring. Let's go ahead and heal Misa because she's not doing so hot. Yes, I well, no, I'm not going to pray. And we can head over here to the hot house where I can start taking on crafting again. We're going to get the final upgrades for my weapons that I'm going to be using this run because I am happy with what I got. Where's my third but dud bear? There he is. He's hanging out in here with, with Watts. I was about to say, I definitely purchased him. What kind of weapon or armor you want to temper? I don't want to temper. I would rather forge. I'm going to make a weapon. I'm going to make a sword. Now, if you remember, this is a damn good weapon. This sword that I made, I believe, out of bronze steel. Uh, yes, bronze steel. As you can see, it is uh, the same here. Now, we can definitely upgrade. We, and we have been able to upgrade for quite some time. As you can see, some of the best items are stuff that we've already had. Or a calcum was what I purchased from uh, Nicolo, by the way. Uh, this myelid and, and the Altina alloy we had already uh, grabbed before. However, crystal, as you can see, is by far the best, the best material in the game. I mean, we're talking about I think 50 was the, was the best other thing that we had now it's 70 across the board including 50 limit or sorry 30 limits and 50 on elemental power um, 30 limits means we can level it up 30 times which means we can get a uh, 99 power 99 dodge a uh, 99 hit and I believe that it'd be 79 or 80 uh, elemental power so I'm going to be making a crystal sword it's going to cost me a ton of money. I'm going to spend most of my money here. And it only costs me one crystal. Now if I do the same thing with the Nux, use the best item in the game here, and you'll see that it, it says that it's actually using all of the elements, which is always, always very, very nice. Uh, the dodge on these are great. Uh, the power, the hit, the elemental power is not so great, but once again, the, the highest limit, which is always very nice. Crystal Nux as well. I also want a Crystal Flail. These are the main items that I'm using, one of each type, uh, Bash, Slash, and Jab. And once again, not nearly as good as the sword. I only used one from each. However, I also would like to make armor. Uh, just regular torso protection armor would be pretty much what I want to start with. I believe I can still do this with just one crystal. 
as you can see, it will really up my defense here from three that I've been using to 30. I probably should have made some armor before, but that is fine. That is fine. I've made crystal armor. I still have one left over, and this will give me a chance to show off... Um, Probably the sword. Let's upgrade the sword. It attacks very quickly, and I do like that. I like the balance of uh, attack speed and range. Um, now, I do need to use the crystal. They are not letting me use the crystal here. Wait. No, 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 no. I, I, I did the wrong thing here. Um, I need to exit back to this menu so I can temper. There we go. That is what I wanted to do. Temper the sword. I will crystal, or sorry, use the crystal on the crystal sword, of course. Now I can use a vegetable. Now I have been uh, working to get quite a few spade basils. If you want the perfect setup, you can only use the spade basils on uh, the weapons that you want to upgrade. If you want the perfect setup, because these are the only vegetables that will give you plus one to power, dodge, hit, and elemental power. Of course, it's going to lower the limit by one, but this is the perfect perfect way to use it. It does consume the crystal, however. So if I were to go for a perfect build here, I mean, we are talking about eight weapons that I can make. Sorry, nine if you include the staff, but why would I want to include the staff? So we got eight weapons that I can use, each of which requires 31 crystals. Then on top of that, you can make armor. There are eight pieces, sorry, seven pieces of armor, each of which would require 31 more crystals. So, I mean, we're talking about ridiculous amounts of crystals that I have absolutely no interest in farming, to be honest with you. So, I am going to finish uh, crafting some more armor using some of the other equipment that I have, and... Um, I will meet you back when I'm done. I should be sufficiently overpowered enough.